at you guys just touching base uh the reason is life is getting weird man it's getting real weird out here in the streets so let's talk about a couple of things um first of all let's talk about this here in this very moment as i'm filming this i am sitting i said i'm not going to turn the camera around because it's just not even necessary it just kind of already happened quickly um I'm sitting in the parking lot to Lowe's because story of my life but there's a liquor store right next to Lowe's which is smart and uh, not trying to say anything but kind of saying something I guess <laughs> um, but anyways this guy just comes running out of the liquor store like a little kid out of a candy store like giggly laugh like I can see the car in front of me has got a girl in it, so I'm guessing it is a girlfriend or wife. And he's coming out of the liquor store, and he's running. He's got a big smile on his face, and I'm thinking, ooh, like, they had what he wanted. And then he's, like, mouthing to her, like, go drive. And he was joking. You could just tell this guy was, like, a jokester, right? And then I'm sitting here with, like, my camera ready, and he thinks I'm pointing it, like, at his car, at his girlfriend, or at him, or whatever. <laughs> and he's like, me, me? And I'm like, no, me. And I'm just laughing, and he's like, come on, film me. And I'm like, you are amazing, guy. I wish everybody was like you. But anyways, so, um, we're gonna talk about life being weird. So, um... Yeah, not to jump on this bandwagon or anything, and this isn't even, this isn't a political statement at all. Uh, this is just a weird life observation, objective evaluation kind of statement and situation. So, um, recently I've been having posts being taken down, and I'm not even like a huge social media person, right? Like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I'm... Uh, Facebook had its day for me. It's came and went, you know, it no longer serves me in the same way. So I've let it go because if it doesn't serve you, let it go in life. Instagram, same thing. It had its day for a very short minute. Short. I never really got that big Instagram into Instagram. I did for a minute. Um, just because I things started to take off on it and I was like, ooh, this feels good, you know, this feeds my little ego. And then I was like, no, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how, what's the point? I don't care how many followers I have on Instagram. Like, in all honesty, it was for business and it, they weren't converting, so it wasn't making any money. So it's like, here I am posting and it's not making any money, even though I'm getting the followers that feels good, but doesn't do anything for me in all honesty like it was purely objective and it wasn't meeting the objective so gone gone real quick um just because on like a values level instagram is like so like me 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 pictures of me more pictures of me and me 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 <laughs> i mean you can use it for pictures of other people too of course but it's just very surface feeling that's the feel i got no shade if you like instagram and all that but anyways, and then Twitter. Twitter had a hot second with me because business-wise, it did serve me for a while. But I don't get on as much anymore. So anyways, I don't post on any of those platforms all that much, like, at all. But I've recently had Instagram posts taken down. I've recently had Twitter posts taken down. I have not had any Facebook posts taken down, but on Facebook I have had posts from scammers, like n people that were trying to scam, um, like my business stuff, I've reported them as scammers, like known scammers, like, hey, this is my WhatsApp, and Facebook has done absolutely nothing about it. So I'm like, how funny is it, here I am getting posts taken down on like Twitter and Instagram. And then on Facebook, I'm reporting posts that should be taken down and they're not getting taken down, but yet I'm seeing friends' posts getting taken down. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not understanding the rhyme or the reason here. And then the other day, like, God bless you, YouTube. You know I love you. Like, I really love you. I love you. I got my master's degree. I actually got my PhD from the YouTube Academy of Arts and Communications. I mean, I feel like I've learned so much on YouTube. I love YouTube. It's like been my hobby 
has been my ride or die. I, I hate TV. I don't watch TV. I'm against TV. I'm anti-TV. YouTube is a way where you can go and you get to, it's like a buffet. You get to go choose what you want to be fed instead of turning on the TV. Somebody's just cramming something down your throat. You're not picking really what you're being fed as much. Like you don't have as much control over what you're being fed, I guess is what I'm saying. I mean, you can still pick what channel you want to watch, what show you want to watch, but you're still being fed commercials and you're still being fed things like that where there's a lot of penetration of the brain, you know? Um, in YouTube, you can at least skip, you know, ads and stuff like that or click onto something else real quick. I mean, I guess on TV you can flip the station too, but I don't know. YouTube just feels more controlled consumption of content. But anyways, I love you, YouTube, but I have to mention that I've been having videos that I've been posting. I had a very mundane video that I posted get taken down. I had another video that I posted that got flagged as 18 plus, so then it's really limited in how it's distributed and all of that. So it basically doesn't get any views, which whatever, I'm not like in it for the views. This is a, a hobby to me, but this is really just like weirding me out because you hear all these people on a political kind of level and with some partisan, you know, undertones or just blatant overtones to it, talking about um, things being, things being uh, um, censored, things being silenced, uh, freedom of speech being um, impeded on. And you're like, oh, okay, you obviously have like a bias, you obviously have a, a political angle, whatever, whatever. So you're just like, meh, whatever. Um, you take it with a grain of salt kind of thing. But this is like, no, this is not political. What I'm talking about, like the, I've been, I posted like nature videos and they got marked as 18 plus. I'm like, what? There's a video of the rain got marked as 18 plus. I don't get it. Like, I do not understand. And then, um, like, on Instagram, apparently, like, I don't know. It was, like, flagged for an inappropriate picture. But, like, I'm not inappropriate. I mean, I can be inappropriate. But I'm not inappropriate. <laughs> and I had, like, a little cleavage. Like, like like this, like, like high neck, just that my cleavage comes up, you know, because that's just how God made me. But it wasn't like a low shirt. Like that's not a low shirt to show like the top of your cleavy cleave, you know? Um, but that was inappropriate. Meanwhile, I see pictures and videos on, on Instagram. That's like straight up, like People are naked, like, do you? I'm not judging you, but I'm like, in comparison, I'm like, I'm not understanding what a little cleave. And it was like a totally innocent picture that got taken down. Um, and then on Twitter, Twitter uh, can be, I can be a little bit more provocative, I guess, on Twitter, but uh, on Twitter, I posted, um, you know, people were talking about things and being judgmental and commenting on all their thoughts and feelings and every last opinion they have in the world and when they go to the bathroom and it's just too much, you know? But, you know, I like to ask questions to just make people think. I don't want you to believe what I want to believe. I don't want, you're a separate human. I want you to think and feel differently. I do, however, want you to think independently. I think independent thinking is very, very crucial in life. It, it, it's good for you, it's good for me, it's good for the world. Um, so I like to ask questions just to make people think. And I asked somebody, because somebody was sounding off, um, and I didn't feel like uh, there wasn't very an, an, a very objective basis on what they were sounding off on. But they were talking about uh, slavery and things like that, and it didn't, it just wasn't very much objectivity or fact or it was very emotional and opinionated right which is fine you have yours you know and the same person was like posting about you know like Amazon Prime Day and I'm like you do realize that a lot of Amazon products are sourced from 
Northwest China where slavery is very, very prominent. Like it's known, Northern China, Northwestern China, there are slave encampments where people that have differing beliefs are put in like basically slave camps to like work off their whatever, their differences, to work off their differences, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but it's, it's crazy, right? So it's like, you're, you're talking about this, but yet you're supporting slavery in a way and I'm not understanding it. So I just asked a question about, um, their support of Amazon and if they thought that was in alignment to their opinions and thoughts and feelings that were obviously anti slavery, which is great. I mean, of course, who is, you know, like I think anti-slavery is pretty commonly held this day and age, you know, we're all pretty anti-slavery. Um, but I just was like, judge not till you judge yourself kind of thing, you know, like maybe the person that they were judging is just in a different point in their evolution and they're still getting to learn and know things. They don't need somebody talking to them like their mother and mothering them and judging them and scolding them when they were being, I thought, very reasonable and just like coming from a place of openness and trying to learn. And then they were judging. And I was like, meanwhile, you're promoting Amazon Prime Day, which could be judged in a very similar way as you judging this person. Anyways, I just asked a question. Like, do you feel like your support of Amazon Prime Day is, you know, consistent with your feelings on slavery, anti-slavery? That got taken down. And actually the person responded in a very positive way. They were like, it, it was starting a good conversation, right? I thought it was at least. They responded in a way like, oh, good point. Because I, I sent them an article about, like not just a news article. Like this is an actual like scholarly piece of writing. You know, it was from... Uh, some educational publication, like it was something I've vetted it, vetted and was credible. And they read it and they were like, oh my gosh, good point. Blah, blah, blah. And it kind of started a conversation. It was positive. It wasn't like a, it wasn't catty but going back and forth or like trying to sell each other's thoughts and opinions or anything like that. It was just, you know, question and answer and thoughts and feelings and sharing our ideas, which I think is the very positive thing, right? Taken down. And I'm starting to feel the way. I'm like, what is going on? This has nothing to do with politics, people. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. If posts and things are starting to be taken down in a way that they were never taken down before that I've experienced personally, it's becoming weird and it's becoming a little bit concerning to me. I don't know. I know a lot of people are in the same boat and they feel the same way. And I even had... Uh, this is a whole nother video, but I had my website hacked by an organization and I'm a small fish, right? Like <laughs> if this is happening to me on this level, like, I mean, obviously my YouTube is teeny tiny. My Twitter used to be bigger, but then it's Twitter, I don't know what Twitter did there, but something happened where all of a sudden a couple thousand people were gone overnight when I started posting certain things. That was a little sketch, whole nother video again, just like the website's a whole nother video. But on Twitter now, I only have like a couple thousand followers, IG, two or three thousand followers <laughs> on the account that this happened on because it was my business account. Um, and then Facebook is just like my personal friends. It's not much, like 700 people. It shouldn't even really be that in all honesty because I don't talk to them that much. But um, anyways, it's just getting really weird. It seems odd to me. I don't quite understand it. I'm just trying to get a sense. What, what do you guys think? What are you feeling? This is not political. This is nonpartisan. Well, I guess it's a little political. I mean, this is being influenced by policy that's coming down to these social media companies or not coming down to these social media companies and then it's affecting us. Um, but just trying to get your guys thoughts and opinions. I'm sure most of you probably have more followers, more clicks, more likes, more visibility, all that than I have. 
So I'm thinking if this is affecting me on this level, I can't imagine the big dogs, like the people that have lots of followers, things like that, that have a real social presence, influence, things like that. Like I know I have a friend that has like almost 200,000 um, subs on YouTube and she told me a wild story and I was like, oh my God, this is like real stuff happening. Like these aren't just friends of a friends of a friends of a friends. This is stuff happening to me personally and this is stuff happening to one of my best friends that like, of course, what I, you know, I trust what she says. I guess she could lie. I don't know why she'd have any incentive to, but like, you know, she knows that I would ask her for receipts at any given moment because I'm just that type of person. But it's getting weird. It's getting really weird, guys. It's tripping me out. I'm just trying to get is it happening to you guys what do you guys think what do you feel it doesn't have to do about which side of the aisle you're on or how you vote or how you feel or what you prefer or what you like or who you like who you don't like politically it's not about that it's just about freedom of speech really <laughs> like the, these platforms are here for us to be ourselves to be creative to be expressive to be unfiltered right but it's like no do you want us to be filtered do you, or do you want us just to say what you want us to say which sorry guys but that's like communism like that's straight up communism like if you get silenced when you don't say something that goes along with their narrative or what they want you to say that's communism that's scary for America or for Americans or for me as an American. That's bizarre. That is really wild to me. So, and it's so weird because I'm seeing these things play out on so many different scales. I'm seeing it play out in my business and some like political stuff that has a political stand, slant with it in my business. I'm seeing the same kind of stuff playing out on that level. And I'm also seeing that kind of stuff play out on a local level within my local government because I'm, I'm going through some stuff with them. And then uh, obviously on the national level here in the United States, but it's, it's bizarre, man. I mean, you guys know I believe in like woo woo stuff. I believe in energy. I believe in astrology. It's kind of in the stars I'm feeling because it's like, how is it being, how is it being matriculated? You like that? How's it being matriculated <laughs> on different levels? Is that even the right word? I don't know. Uh, but how is it being felt on those same levels in the same way? But I don't know, guys. This is just me rambling because I'm like, I literally was sitting here after I left Lowe's and I was looking at my phone and I saw that my video was marked as 18 plus and I'm like, it's like a video of the rain and of like the flooding in the area. I don't. I'm not understanding. No comprende, mi amigo. So, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, what you're thinking, feeling. Again, it's not like, you don't need to get all like emotionally invested or like trigger. Like, uh, I'm sorry if I trigger anyone. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying, again, to have open discussion and try to make people think. And I'm just trying to see if I'm alone on an island feeling this. It doesn't make sense, though, if that's the case, because I'm just little old me, you know, like, weird. Okay, so yeah, let me know what you think. Love you, bye.